Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer and Twitch musician and music teacher living in Seattle. I've gotten a lot of comments lately across multiple videos. Polite comments say, hey, it's been a while since you listened to a beatboxer. And you know what? You're right. So it's time to do that. This is Den versus Jordox Twisted Fate, the BBU 22 semifinal. How many competitive circuits do you all have? I feel like we haven't done any BBU stuff. So, but again, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm excited to see this. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah, man, this intro is so awesome. It's very, very musical. We have three defined layers, like the low-end bass, the falsetto, high-end bass, and then the, the clicky percussion that's moving. But that's very cool. We'll talk about that in a second. I just, I need the intro again because the delivery of the fidelity, like there's like a manipulation in this crescendo here. Man, the sound totally turns a little bit. That is super impressive. Just listen to the quality of the bass. And it feels like, even though he's the same distance to the mic, I just getting like a different timbre of that low end. It just, that's pretty wild. Who's that? I love it. Mm. <laughs> It's very like drum and bass like around that. That's so cool to have like um, like melodic stuff going on and then that being delivered at the same time. Why did you want me? like it's nothing. Love is bringing me down. Wow. This love is killing me now. Dang, dude. Also a good voice. Like all the, the lyrics sound like very legit. Uh, this video is like way different for me. Now, granted, remember, this is only like video number five on the channel. Still brand new to beatboxing or like watching beatboxing videos. This one was like highly produced. Like the camera quality is like insanely good. There's text on the screen. There's edits. There's like transitions. There's like a lot of like, you know, Adobe Premiere type things going on. So uh, how is that normal? Like, uh, I mean, obviously we're getting the with a one take as the audio and we're just reproducing what's on the screen here but it's still really impressive though i like both ways like i'm, I'm not like partially the one uh some of these bass notes in this is just wild i'm going back about 12 seconds just to appreciate this again love is bringing me down that's nuts love is killing me now Sorry to stop so much, but I also just want to give kudos to really good understanding of how to like create a nice contour of how, as he's moving through the chord progression, outlining that and the bass tones that are being selected. So like, I feel like it's very interesting. We get some nice modifications. This is pretty sick. All right, let's keep going. Huh. What? And of course, we just go into this monster's drop. Uh, fun, yeah, most replayed. I don't doubt it. Uh, fun six tuplet rhythms, uh, six no triplet stuff going on with all, what it feels like all kinds of in out related stuff. Remember, I don't I don't speak your terminology, but uh, rhythm is my friend. Let me go back. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, contour. Sorry. I like where that is going as far as it's like, you know, if you're like visualizing like on a staff, like contour, that would be there. It's pretty cool. Good phrasing. But he ends on like an inward. How the hell do you do that? That is. I, I, dude, I do not know how to do that. Oh, never mind. It's just, it, that was a snare sound. Sorry, I thought that that release was on like an inward tone. I was like, that's fucking crazy, dude. I mean, it's still, yes, it's obviously still, still crazy, but I was just trying to figure out like how you would have so much articulation going one way with air and then suddenly to reverse it like that. But anyway, keep going. Oh, okay. Huh. 
Keep your editor. That that's really good uh, edit stuff going on to augment the experience here. Granted, now I'm I'm trying to really focus on the delivery of the music, the tones and the rhythms. Uh, so the comments I made earlier about like oh it's impressive three layers of like bass tone, uh, what was going on in the falsetto and then all the clicky percussion, though that foundation is still there from the beginning. So we're we're really seeing outstanding development, Th- theme of development, theme of variation here. Really really good musicianship, but. It's significantly more fucking demanding now. It's so much more difficult. So it's kind of funny that I was geeking out about it at the beginning. I should have known it was going to get so much more complicated. But the point, the reason I stopped, though, is just to give props to how well this is constructed. And just it's the dis- display of the range for me, how low those bass sounds can sound. And then immediately to such a high range falsetto, but within a harmonic composition. So pretty fucking good, man. Back five seconds. <laughs> Why did you want me to lie like it's nothing? That was a very cool uh, call and response there from super high end breathy tone to way froggy low end bass. To lie like it's nothing. Oh, a little bit, a little bit different rhythms on the low end. Sorry, my fault. Not a total call and response, but still uh, enough creativity there. I just got to give more props, man. That little bridge section there with the super hard P poppy sounding bass. Great. Like we coach this. So anytime I'm also teaching students when, you know, we're like, Hey, when you're playing with each other, like the contour of where a piece goes, how do you keep interest? How do you stay within a chord progression yet still create something as it's moving in real time to be, uh, energetic within the performers, but still reach the audience and keep them captivated. This is like, I need to start showing these videos to students. Be like, look, look how many different ways we're going over this progression and you're getting massive new rhythms and massive amounts of new melodic content. And it's like super fun to listen to. Now I will say the editing job does augment the experience. I can't help, but not look at it where in the previous videos where it was just like a straight cut. I mean, you could only listen. Uh, this is definitely making it a little bit cooler. So I feel like I'm not going to compare because it's like a little unfair. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep going. I'm not around. What is that? You're fatal. That's super weird. In, in a good way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that the cookie monster sounding spot. That was so weird. The low one, I feel like we've been hearing previously already in the song, but the high version of it, it like sit. I don't hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Each. Uh, I think it like staccato, tenuto, legato, meaning like super short, a little bit longer, and then much longer. Uh, And all those, those three note combinations. But he's got that like monstrous sounding bassy breathy effect on it. I don't know how to say any of your articulation styles, but that's some interesting. Hold on, I want that in context. I, I will let it go. I promise. It's just you gotta appreciate that stuff. Breaking down, you know these days I cry That's wild. so complicated uh i'm having it's been a little bit i have not like listened to the other videos that i did like back to back to compare everyone i feel like i might be wrong when i say this internally i'm feeling like den has such a strong ability to deliver difference in range i feel like we're going so low on those bass tones and we instantly jump uh and it's it's like diatonic it's like within the key it still sounds good we're still singing 
and then we're jumping back down all the time, all the while giving percussion uh, support. It's just pretty complicated. I wonder, man, I want to hear like, I know there's 8,000, everyone and their mom has a reaction channel. It's nothing new. Uh, I would want to hear like the vocal professors that were like my college professors, the ones that like have like a lifetime of performing like opera and like, like gig their whole life for like 20 years on the road. I want to know what they think about this because they could talk so much more about what's happening on the inside where I have like no knowledge, you know, but uh, I'm sure, you know, what? that's probably already out there on YouTube, but that's just where my brain goes because it's just obviously I'm curious, but it's very, very interesting. <laughs> Why did you want me? And why did I want you? Love is a killer, and I never learn. I want you to let go. Wow, did you hear that? Like, it was almost like kind of like a ride cymbal, open hi hat type feel underneath with the breathy percussion there. Hold on. And I never. Last phrase was the first part I heard a dig it out, dig it out like a diddled snare drum sound. Everything else did not have that. That was kind of cool to get that one little variation at the end. I do feel like the last the the last theme just kind of composed was composed of everything that we had talked about previously and all put in there. That was pretty that's pretty cool. So anyway, sorry. Uh, I know we stopped a lot. Hold on, is there more? Over and out. Click click. All right, yeah, this is probably matching the beginning there. Uh, okay, cool. Like I said, sorry we stopped so much, but this is fascinating stuff, and I just want to talk about it, and I know you all have the answers, and I always like reading the comments on the beatbox videos. So uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully, you can hook, hook me up with some of those questions, and uh, yeah, what else are we doing? My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live on Twitch so we can say hello. You can find links to all my socials down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.